So, welcome guys again to Master James Learner School. Ngayon, gagawa naman tayo ng video tutorial na RME na problem solving para sa inductive reactance at capacitive reactance. Okay guys, so sumula na natin. So, sa inductor guys so, sa, meron tayong okay, so sa inductor natin sa AC circuit meron tayong tinatawag na inductive reactance okay so for example yung current mo is flowing dito okay <clears throat> minsan yung current inuupos nya Okay, sa AC circuit kasi, since yung current mo is alternating, itong inductor na ito, pag nag-create ng magnetic field, for example, dito nag-flow yung current mo, yung direction na ito, may nag-create ka magnetic field, yung magnetic field mo kasi rito, katulad din yung current mo rito, nag-expand, tsaka nag-collapse. So, may time na nagkakaroon sila ng salubungan. Okay, at yung salubungan na yun, yung tinatawag na inductive reactance. Okay. So, sa inductive reactance, para makuha yung, yung inductive reactance, <coughs> ito yun, inductive reactance. So, ang unit nito is ohms din. Ang formula kapag inductor is 2 pi fl. Okay. So, 2 pi fl kapag inductor. So, ito yung inductive reactance. Tapos, ang unit niya is ohms. Okay, so, mag-try tayo mag-solve ng mga problem. So, medyo elaborate lang natin yung formula. Inductive reactance is equal to 2 pi fl. Okay? So, itong 2 pi na yan, 2 pi constant. Ito ay constant. Yung f is frequency. Kasi diba sa AC circuit, meron tayong frequency. Then, L is yung kanyang inductance na ang unit ay Henry. Okay. So, ngayon, <coughs> so, solve natin ito. Okay. Magbibigay tayo ng mga sample problem. Okay. So, ito yung problem natin. A 10 mili Henry inductor has a reactance of black at 60 hertz. Okay? So, ang inahanap syempre is yung reactance or inductive reactance. So, ang formula ng inductive reactance natin is 2 pi fl. Okay. So, 2 pi then times frequency 60 hertz times yung inductance which is 10 milli Henry. Okay. So, solve natin to. Itong 10 milli Henry na yan is equivalent to 10 times 10 raised to negative 3. Okay. Kasi ito ay milli. So, tandaan natin, di ba, meron tayo milli is equal to times 10 raised to negative 3 micro times 10 raised to negative 6 nano which is 
times 10 raised to negative 9 okay so gamitin natin yung calculator so kita natin so 2 so yung pi para makuha mo ito siya alam mong ship dito tayo yung ship din pi times 60 times 10 times 10 raised to negative 3 then close tapos equal mo siya then switch D para maging decimal 3.76 3.76 ohms so that is letter D so yun yung malapit kasi 3769 so pag niround off mo 377 okay okay so next problem tayo guys an inductor has a reactance of 10,000 ohms at 10 kilohertz What's, what is its reactance at 2 kilohertz so sabi rito meron daw siyang reactance 10,000 ohms sa pag 10 kilohertz ito yung kanyang frequency Okay, sa 2 kilohertz daw, ano yung kanyang reactance? Okay. So, syempre, gamitin pa rin natin yung formula na XL 2 pi FL. Kaso dito, sa pag-solve nito, kung mapapansin mo, wala kang value ng inductance. Okay, kasi ang given lang is yung reactance tapos frequency. So, ang gagawin mo ngayon, isasolve mo na yung value ng uh, inductance okay so para magamit mo siya sa 2 kilohertz na frequency para makuha mo yung reactance niya okay so kung yung L yung nawawala so XL is equals to 2 pi F bakit? kasi derivate mo lang ito kung buo dito para ito lang yung matira kasi ito yung hinahanap muna okay so XL 10,000 ohms divided by 2 by 10,000 kilohertz or 10,000 hertz okay so kung makapansin mo okay so solve, pero solve natin so 10,000 ohms 10,000 ohms over 2 shift by times 10,000 so the answer is ang value ng inductance natin is 0 0.1591 Henry so ngayon, ito gagamitin natin para masolve naman yung kanyang reactance ng 2 kilohertz kasi ito yung value ng inductance natin Okay. So, XL is equals to 2 pi FL, where 2 pi constant times frequency, so 2000 times, ito na yung value na inductance, 0 0.1591 Henry. So, plug in natin sa calculator, 2 chip pi times 2000 1.1591 So the answer is 199 Ohms So tingin ka sa choices So ang pinakamalapit is Siyempre 2000 So the answer is letter C So ganun lang guys Kasimple Sagutan Okay so, ngayon naman, proceed tayo dun sa capacitive reactance. So, ito naman ay opposition na nakikreate na resistance through capacitor sa AC circuit. Okay. So, ang formula niya is Xc is 1 over 2 pi Fc. Na kung saan ito ay inductive re capacitive, sorry, capacitive reactance then F also again is frequency then C is capacitance 
which is in Harad. Okay, ito ay in Hertz. Passive reactance is in Hertz. Okay? So, mag-try tayo magbigay ng sample problem. So, ito yung problem guys. A 100 volt 60 Hertz AC source is connected across a 100 microfarad capacitor. How much is the current through the capacitor? Okay, so meron tayo mga choices din. Ang sulat natin, 3.8 ampere, 1 ampere, 2.5 ampere, then 1 ampere. Okay, so sa problem na ito, ay nahanap, paano doon yung current sa capacitor mo? Parang ganito lang yung simple. Yan, tapos ito yung capacitor. Ano daw yung kanyang current na dumadaan? Okay, ano yung current na dumadaan? Okay, so erase natin ito. So, para makuha mo yung current na yun, kailangan mo nang masolve kung ano yung resistance. Or since AC to, tapos ang load ay kapasitor, kailangan mo kulin mo na yung induct capacitive reactance. Wherein, ang formula is 2 pi, 1 over 2 pi Fc. So, substitute natin, 1. So, 2 pi, constant siya, ang frequency, 60 hertz times kanyang kapasitance 100 microfarad kung iyalo natin times 10 raised to negative 3 so, negative 6 so, negative 6 okay. so using calculator so 1 over 2 shift by times 60 times 100 times 10 raised to negative 6 so 26.52 xc is 26.52 or 53 so ngayon para makuha natin yung current na dumadaan sa capacitor so using ohms lang ay is equals to b over xc kasi xc yung ating resistance so, B is equal to 100 volts over X natin is 26.52. So, using calculator, 100 over 26.52. So, the answer is 3.77 ohms. So, ito yung malapit sa God. This is the final answer, letter A. Okay. So, next problem tayo. So, next problem natin guys is determine the reactance of a 50 microparan capacitor at 60 Hz. So, XC, syempre kasi capacitor to, capacitor reactance. 1 over 2 pi Fc. So, reactance kasi na na. 2 pi constant frequency 60 times capacitance 50 times 10 raised to negative 6 kasi micro siya. So, 1 over 2 shift by 60 50 times 10 raised to negative 6 equals to 53. 53 ohms. So, ito. Letter D. Okay. So, number 3 problem, a 2 microfarad capacitor has a reactance of 1,500 ohms. What is the frequency of the AC source? Okay? So, ngayon ay nahanap naman is frequency pero capacitor pa rin siya. Tapos, binigay yung value ng reactance. So, Xc is 1, 2 pi Fc. So, kung ay nahanap ay <coughs> frequency. So, turo ko kayo ng calculator technique. Okay, so turo ko sa inyo yung ship sold. Okay. So, XC. I mean, XC. 1,500. Then, alpha equal. Okay. So, 1, 2, ship, pi, times. So, ito yung nawawala. Dapat, <coughs> X ka dito. 
Ano X. Tapos, C. Ang kapasitance is 2 times 10 raised to negative 6. So, ships of the... Ah, oh, wait. Sorry. No variable error. So, erase natin ito. Lagay natin dito yung X. So, ship sold. So, hanapin niya. So, naputo lang guys. Pero yun yung lumabas dun sa ship sold natin kanina. Okay? So, 53.05 dancer is letter A.